Heyo, ladies and gentlemen, in that beautiful technical rainbow in between, and oh, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, in the last episode, we went beyond the reaches of the Embrace. We fought a Sawtooth, we fought in the Proofing, and we lost dear old Dad. So, right now, we have to. What are? What is our current quest? I already forget. We need to. Test the override device on a machine. That's right, because in the last episode, right at the end, we killed this big old Mamba Jamba, the Corruptor, and it gave us a device for us to take control of smaller machines. But before we do that, as you are no doubt aware, there's a metal flower here. So we're going to take that, and if you are at all interested in figuring out how to get to this metal flower, it's super simple. You either start here, up at this campfire you work your way over here and there's like a crossing rope and some uh zip lines that'll get you over here or you could always just walk up this path and around to here now before we go test this out on some machines there's somebody we need to visit because we lost dear old dad in the last episode he died honorably protecting aloy Again, the first time I ever played this game, when Ross died, I literally stopped playing the game for like two weeks. And I was like, no. Do you think he built all this alone? So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Ross. I know. There's nothing for me here anymore. It is actually mighty impressive. This is a nice sized house. And again, she said he built this all by himself with no help whatsoever. The amount of time, energy, and commitment it took to do that. Rest in peace, Ross. Rest in peace. Here's his grave. And we can just walk up. And speak to Rost. Rost. I couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the Proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I've been... Trying to puzzle it out, but nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this... A woman. Older, with short hair. But why? And what's the connection? If she's my mother, then... She didn't look Nora, but... If she lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn... Unless I understand. I need to track down Olin. An outsider. He was at the festival. The night before the proving. Somehow. The killers saw me through his focus. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him. Well, he's gonna tell me everything he knows. And he's gonna pay. All right, it's uh, it's time to leave the embrace. I'll try to come back when I can. Hmm. That's sad. <laughs> it really is like upsetting as hell. Again, because Rost was the only person she really ever knew. She, he was her father for 
Lack of anything else. All right. I'm go ahead and we're gonna get some more Ridgewood here. Always need to be topped up on good materials to make arrows because we always need a shit ton of arrows in this game. <clears throat> Do a quick save. Uh, grab some more sticks. All right, we're going to find ourselves a mount. We're going to find ourselves a machine to override. Ugh, scrapes. So we just got to follow the road. Hey there. All right. Go over here. Should be able to find some striders just across the river. If I remember correctly, there are two watchers here. Or not. Apparently, whoever this is just took him down. Thanks, guys. Made my life easier. Didn't have to deal with the watchers. Mm, but there's one right there. Er. Hey guys, you're still here? What the hell? Hi. Don't mind if I take those. Alright. Strider, Strider, Strider. There's one. Ooh, that one was a lot closer. He would have seen me if I wasn't careful. close enough to whistle for that one. Striders. I can test the override device on them. Should go in quiet. Didn't go through all of this to wind up trampled by a frightened herd. Nice and quiet. Okay, here it goes. Hold to override. Come on, come on. It worked. It's not hostile. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah. 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 Ride. <laughs> this strider is fast. Beat. <laughs> this beats walking. Yeah, I say it beats walking around. Now that we got a mount. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Uh, how do I dismount? Triangle. Okay, I was like, uh, dismount? By... Oh, that's right. I can get the, the maps for all the items. Well, I need fatty meat. Hmm. I'm gonna get a sampler box here. I mean, they don't cost me anything. Might as well grab them. Fatty meat. Where do I get a piece of fatty meat from again? I can't remember. If I have any items I could sell, I've got these. Sell multiple. Because there are certain items that you can only sell. There are certain items you use for trade. It's kind of nice to... I don't really ever use the potions in this game, so I just kind of always sell the flowers. Not worth much, but eh, they'll get you some money. Alright. Are there any animals here and about? Yeah. Whatever that is, doesn't sound very friendly. That's not the right button. Fighting. Just outside the gate. Watch yourselves! The gates look shattered. Bring it closer! Ooh. Closer! Yeah, I just took out a sawtooth, casually. Are you Varl? Varl, I take it? <laughs> Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. 
It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. Hmm. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. Mm -hmm. You said I won the proving. <clears throat> How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone. And our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago. And since then, there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. <laughs> I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you. And... I, I get it, Barl. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do. Okay then. The War Chief's Trial. That's the one we're gonna do. Because <laughs> that's actually a very important story mission. Where's my Strider? Hello? Oh, apparently he raced back quite a ways. Okay. That's neat. Alright. Go ahead and collect. Uh, May the goddess protect. Thanks, Varl. We'll go find your mother. First things first. Uh, what was it? I need to go to the massacre site. 
way up here. Um. Right, corrupted zones. Uh, let's go collect this. And then, yeah, it's up there. This is like the easiest one to get to. And since it's right here, might as well. All of it may embrace. The world just got bigger. That it did. Also more dangerous. That too, yeah. All right, will you give me a piece of fatty meat? I uh, maybe if I didn't miss. I just need a piece of fatty meat, and I can get the the other map from the trader. Fresh as it comes. There we go. I got some fatty meat. And that means I should be able to get... There's the thing. The other map of collectibles. Which is something I'm going to do in this Let's Play. But I'll probably do them in their own independent episode for the most part. But I'll pick up a few here and there along the story. So long as I'm passing it. Air Combat Academy. Apocalypse Storm Tour. Day 2. My father guest lectured here. A 300 level military history course on the age of human air power. Might as well have been teaching medieval siege tactics. I was eight when he died. Cool. I have no idea who this guy is, but. Alright. This is a corrupted zone as well, so. We'll go ahead and we'll deal with that. Just need to be real sneaky about it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Alright, corrupted zone. Urgh. Says I need to be a level 15. What level am I at currently? I have no idea. I'm at level 8. Okay, yeah, no, we're not gonna deal with this. That's that's neat. We'll go ahead and we'll head back to our uh steed. Where did I put my flag? Okay. Put that over there. Okay. I'm slowly getting back into the rhythm of things here. It's one of those... This game is a boatload of fun, but it's control scheme... I, the problem is playing any game back-to-back to, back to another one is kind of you need to get used to the buttons again just grab as many sticks as I can get all right let's go Razor hunting grounds. This is a good place to get blaze. God, God, these buttons. Are you all right, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Oh, not exactly. And I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, told my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. Oh, that's right. The hunting grounds. Fuck. I love and hate these things. You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer and my bowstring snapped and I tripped and... <clears throat> Uh, forget it. it. It wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. Talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd be better than I did. Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the keeper would talk to me. 
I think he might be in exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the laws of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. I'll be all right. My father always said our mother had a plan for me. Before he got run over by a strider, anyway. <laughs> I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful. Especially if you're heading north. And be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up. Oh, the hunting grounds. Yeah, might as well walk up there to him. I'm not going to do any of the trials right now, but I'll at least walk up there and talk to the guy. Because as cool as these things are, like, I understand them. They're there to offer people a challenge. I, again, love and hate them. Mostly hate. Uh, because they're time trials. And if there's one thing I hate in video games more than anything else, it's a time trial. I spoke to Kren. He told me this is a hunting grounds where you offer tests of skill. Poor Kren. Not the best hunter. But at least he keeps his chin up. Hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the Matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the sacred land and returned. The matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. Has a very fair point. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. Very annoying stuff. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. I mean... Time for me to head out. I'll be here when you're ready to test yourself. Yeah, I am not at all interested in doing these right now. <laughs> there there are better pieces of equipment. When I have better equipment, that'll be the time. But... Alright, I can get this. That's good. The free sample box. What kind of weapons this guy got? He's got a sling. Rattler. Got some Karja weapons and a few Shadow Karja weapons. Karja Sharpshooter's Bow. Ah, oh, that's got the Tear Blast arrows. Um, those are handy for this trial. Karja Sling. Karja Tripcaster. Excuse me. It's best to take on all of the hunting trials when you can get all of the Shadow weapons because they're the best weapons in the game they have everything 
And it's better to do them when you're a slightly higher level, because if not, you're just going to get your ass trampled, and it sucks. And again, they're all time trials, and I fucking hate time trials, so I'm just not going to bother with them right now. Ooh, I got a lot of supply crates. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, I got some weapons. What weapons did I get? Banuke Culling Bow and Banuke Mighty Bow. Hmm. They both do 80 damage total. This one... This one's better, by the looks of it. Inventory. Weapons. E the Mighty Bow replace that and then I can sell the other two bows because I don't really need them trailblazer card of storm that's actually a really cool looking outfit it offers protection from range and melee this one deals elemental defense oh um let me check something really quick do I have okay I do have it all you can actually toggle the headgear on and off, which I don't really like the headgear in a lot of the outfits. So I find it pretty useful to just toggle them off. I uh, got the map items and some new potions. Cool. Yeah, the maps just show you where all the collectibles are. For the time being, I'm going to turn that off. We're just going to go ahead and head for the massacre site uh, as soon as I put this outfit back on. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to run past these guys. Not super important. I just killed a goose. Kyong Kyong Kam Goose. Alright. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> right. Right here. Since I'm in the area, I'll just grab it. It's not that far off the road. Eh, God. Where are you going? Follow the road. And then there's this. Go over here. Lay down a quick save. We'll run up there, do this thing really quick. This is a, a terrible thing to do right now. I've got the two power cells. So the, the we picked up two power cells. One in the ruin that we fell into as a little kid. And then the other is... I wonder what's down here. The uh, mountain. I picked up a power cell. Okay. And you're supposed to bring them here. Grab that... Jump back into the water. Swim through here. This isn't a cave. It's a ruin. Yep. Very astute observation. There it is. The hologram, uh, the uh, shield From armor. From the age of the old ones. But how do I get to it? Well, that's a very simple fix. So come over here. I haven't seen one. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. Well, how convenient. I just have two power cells. There. Fits. I just need to slip one more. That's two. Okay. It's some kind of code. Maybe there's a clue nearby. This thing? I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Right. The pattern for this one is the thing that always confuses me. So, 
I forget what direction they're supposed to go in here. Um, zero, zero, zero. That's midnight on the dot, which means that one points up. And then the last one also points up. Then the one in the middle points down. That's for sure. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Some, looks like each dial has four positions. Yep. And then is it this one faces this way? Maybe if I this one faces each dial this in the way. Right position. No. This goes over here. And then this one goes this way. Did it. Bingo. Now to check okay. the door. Yeah. Uh, Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Okay. Go ahead and grab these files and the supplies in these crates. So, yeah, the har the armor is being held in by these metal clamps. And you come over here and just need to install these power cells. Yeah. That should do it. We need three power cells here. And these numbers they must be related to segments of a circle. You're ve very smart. <laughs> like very astute. Anyways, yeah, can't do that yet. Don't have three more power cells. I know where I get the other three. Some of them we can't access until later in the story. Anyways. Alright, where is the exit to this place? Right here. Alright. Let us be on our way then. Shouldn't be... Okay, yeah, there's some side quests here. There's a side quest a little bit further up with... Nile, Neil, whatever the fuck his name is. I can't ever remember this guy's name. The way it's spelled is simple, but I have a hard time remembering how they pronounce it. I'm terrible with names. I've always, ha always have been. Probably always will be. Uh, I was never the best English student. All right. That's it. And we'll, once we do this thing with the war chief, I'm gonna have a whole episode. Is that a corpse at his feet? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna have a whole episode dedicated to side quests, including this one. But we'll There's pick danger it up. ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Noraland. Yes, yes, yes. Trespass is forbidden on pain of death. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See. This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief, slaver, a killer. The kind that give honest killers a bad name. <laughs> Varl told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. Most dig out a camp and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. Right. That's the Devil's Thirst Bandit Camp. Like I said, we'll, we'll do all the side quests in their own independent uh, video. Again, I'm somebody who I like doing all the side quests. My focus is picking up some kind of signal. Ah. Maybe I can scan it. What is it? Those Unknown ruins. Signal. That must be Devil's Thirst. That signal... Where is it coming from? Somewhere in Devil's Thirst, and it's moving, and it's a tall deck. Which is basically the the towers you use to discover the map in this game. Sure, that's efficient. Just jump right over that, why don't you? The Nora Village, up on the heights. Yep. It's Mother's Rise. <laughs> Just run! What are you doing? Why did you slow down? Oh, I hate.
Lenora managed to take down a corruptor. Impressive. Maybe the war chief left something behind. Sip a nut before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. That's a lot Look of blood. Look at this place. It's like Varl said. Another massacre. Lots of machines. All controlled by the killers. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. Scraps of food. The killers rested here before springing the trap. Hi. Brave. The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more Braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day. But I was wrong. The War Chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the Braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl told me that the War Chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the War Chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins of Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. Thanks. This should take us right past the tall neck, so we'll be able to grab it, since we'll be in the area. There are a few machines here. Another so. signal. Oh, I can see the tall neck there in the background. Those things are so fucking cool, and I love them. I actually have a, a model of a tall neck uh, on my desk here. I wish I had a camera so I could show it to you guys, but... Ooh, hello, there's a thing here. Data... data pad campfire here lay down a nice quick save all right not pinging out a signal right now so that's kind of annoying I must be closing in on the signal I can hear it. They're so intimidating, but they're the only machine that isn't trying to actively kill you. Every other machine you find is actively hostile. Tall neck, on the other hand, is not. Okay. He's been dealt with. Yeah, so there he is. must be coming from a tall neck's head. I need to find a way to climb it. Shit. I missed. Come on. 
Come on. Keep things quiet. Okay. That one's dead. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, there he is. God, you are intimidating, but you are so fucking cool. All right. Should be all the watchers. Not enough handholds to climb those legs. There must be another way. There is. That's why we had to deal with these watchers. Grab the parts out of them. Make some use out of these things' parts. All right. Up here should be right here. A ramp. This should be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. Yeah, once it makes its way over here. Oh, there is another watcher over there. These guys are real slow. It's the only thing that's really annoying about these guys is having to wait for them to make their way around to an area where you can jump on them. There we go. Made it. Now to climb up to its head. Go up. Gotta take this kind of slow. Or else to risk falling to my very death. Don't mind me. Just a little longer, yeah. and I'll leave you to your wandering. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna stick this thing in your head, and we're gonna make our way through here. Ooh, excuse so me. The tall neck remembers everything along its path, and sends what it sees to other machines. That, yep, clears all the clouds from this section of the map. And it tells us about a couple of other items and locations. That's all well and good. Okay. Now we gotta go to Sona. She is up over this way. Down soon enough. Got myself some medical herbs. Always nice to have more of those. Data. I am now level nine. I have two skill points I could use and get low profile. Uh, what do I want to get? That's the question. Strike from above. That one's not super handy. Strike from below, however, that one is super useful, as well as leader strike. Mm. Or I could do low profile. Makes my stealth a little bit better. Um. We'll do low profile. This one is a lot more useful. And then we're just going to clean up the rest of this top track with the rest of the levels we get. Bandit camp, tall neck. Cool. Notebook. What do we get? Uh, the tall neck. Yep. Uh, collectibles. We got two more Mark I flowers. We've gotten some data input. I love that it distinguishes from quest and just stuff you can find in the world. Data from machines. And then the Frozen Wilds DLC. Yeah. We'll be getting to that at some this point. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. Where are... Here we go. <sighs> Gotta find the yellow tinted uh, stones. The war chief stopped here. That'll go I see a lot of action. They must have taken a moment to rest. Dressings for wounds. Arrow shards. A recent kill. Freshly skinned. No one would have left it willingly. 
Son has taken losses. Couldn't have been easy going on after the ambush. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Might be a blood. Sona and her braves can't be far. Braves were crafting ammunition here. Very astute observation. <laughs> Ooh, fun. Tracks, boots, and blood. Oh, Looks like blood. Sona and her braves headed for that ridge. Mm, I'm seeing lots of blood. Just a couple drops here and there every so often. Those are corrupted machines. Oh, I see something. A dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. This has a corrupted sawtooth. Those are always fun. Mm. Oh, fun. Another one. The famous words of DJ Khaled, another one. Damn. Good shot. War Chief Sona. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Yeah, let me loot the corpse really quick. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupter demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. Uh, you'll see here in a moment. I'll show you. Just grabbing some items as we make our way to it. send braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us, but we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> All right, we're going to crouch. Carefully here. Got a few humans 
Also, before I get too into this, let me upgrade my weapon. Do it with a little bit more piercing damage and some more fire damage. That will be incredibly useful here. They know I'm here now. Shit, man. Like hell they do. Nope, never mind. Sona's firing. God damn it, man. That damn watcher. Damn that thing. Ooh, shit. Somebody's firing at me. Who? Fuck you. Kind of hoping I'd be able to just sneak in real quick and simple. Yo, oh, headshot with a fire arrow. That's always nice. God, that looked like it hurt. Hey, I'm level 10. How about that? Let's go make our way down. Let's casually loot the corpses. Whoa, shit. Dude's got a laser. Ah, God, somebody flashbanged me. Ooh, hello, you. Whoa. All right, Mr. Laser. That was the wrong button. Well, they've been dealt with. That did not go at all as planned. I said I was hoping I'd be able to kill a few of them, sneak in, and not raise an alarm. But the damn watcher saw me. Oh well, you win That's some. With me. You win some, you lose some. It's fine. Oh god, I think I'm stuck here. Eh. That. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Little salty there, Sona. Alright, just gonna 
loot supplies from these guys. And something up there. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Ooh, that's right. There's a thing here. Um, what is this? This metal flower, I believe. Yeah. Metal flower. Mark one. Since we're in the area, might as well pick that up. All right. Message, message. I need to find... There's a message somewhere in this canyon. There it is. Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. <sighs> cool. A blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the matriarchs, beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Yeah! Aloy, thank you. You might take that back when you see what I'm getting us into. Okay. Well then. Uh, oh god, that's right. It's way to fuck up here. Um. Here, let's go deal with this bandit camp with Nail. Nile, Neil, Nile. I don't fucking know how to say his name. And then we'll uh, probably. I don't know. Let me see. Where? What direction do I need to go in? That way. Cool. Good to know. Revenge of the Nora. Yeah. Nora seek vengeance. All right. Uh. Boo. Da, 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 da. Oh god. Oh my bones. So much for being careful. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. Oh my bones. Aloy, your poor bones. Okay. Yeah, that'll run me right past the fucking bandit camp. I don't want to do that. Fortunately, I need to take the long way around. That's yeah. It's also a vantage point somewhere around here. I believe it's on this set of rocks right over here. There it is. I see it. Loot the supply crate. The puck is shit storm tour. Day three. I was 13. I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid, I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. What a messed up kid I was. Okay.
Ooh, hey, machines. I can hear you click clacking over there. Oh, God. There's no easy way around this. There's some scrappers there. I see some Nora construction. Alright. Yeah. This. Now. Should be. Well, he should be somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. I see him. And some ancient debris. Which. Oh, I of a bandit camp in some metal ruins. That must be the place there. Best to keep an eye out around here. Hi, my guy. How are you doing? I'm glad you came. You're glad. <sighs> Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. Rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. Sure. I don't know you. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, a concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from. Fair enough. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Mm -hmm. Save screaming a while. <laughs> Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. All right. Well. Washes away the taste of metal. Two of them have trails that lead right up to the bridge. So gotta be careful. I think an easier way to do this would be go down here into the water and sneak up from this ridge. See, this is where I gotta be thoughtful and the issue with stealth in certain games is I'm one of those people who I like playing the stealthy route, which means it takes a little bit longer, but it's also a lot more satisfying when I can do it without setting off an alarm. Okay. Am I hearing things? Maybe. What do you think you hear? dead there's this guy I'm not here that better not be one of ours come here you 
We gotta stop. Y'all don't got nothing. That's what y'all don't got. Sneak. I see you. Okay. This is one of those like I hold my breath pucker factor moments. the alarm. Better keep an eye on it. Dude, can you not push me around a little bit? Hello there, you. The guy there. Down over there. Take cover. <clears throat> Man down. Gotta be smart about all this. Do what I can to not reveal my location as much as possible. I don't think that guy's napping. You're hiding behind a beam, which makes this more difficult. You went over there. Ooh. Okay, everybody's alerted, except you. I can't see a fucking thing. Okay. Make my way over here. Looks like I'm clear. Yeah, for now. Man, low profile's great if you didn't see me. Okay. 
Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. There's only a few of them left. You there. now. That shot nearly had me! <laughs> Bitch. Nearly had you. back up. There's only a few left. The ones inside the building here are a little bit harder to get to. All right. That guy there, when he walks up this way, should see this corpse. Probably tries to run for it. At that point, he should be close enough for me to get or just take his ass out right now. Okay. Let's see here. You're the only one that moves around. So, if I play my cards right, oh no, you move around too. I didn't realize you were that close. Oh, shit. Is there a way into the camp from here? Doesn't look like it. I mean, except for that spot right there. God, and I'm visible here. Okay. They must be the bandits' prisoners. Yeah, no shit. You are facing this direction, which makes getting to you a little tricky, but yeah. Then there's this one, who kind of walks back and forth between two different locations here. Is there any tall grass? Doesn't appear to be any tall grass I could use to hide to get up to you, but I should just be able to walk in through here. Huh? Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. Yeah, while your back is turned. Huh? <sighs> leaves that one. Dead. Easy win. Surgical. Oh, that's satisfying. Without even raising Speaker, an alarm. May I speak with you? Yes, you may. I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you all right? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. 
Hmm. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. Hmm. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. Welcome. I'm gonna take that free sample box you got, my man. That should give me, yeah, a couple of these pouches. All right, now I gotta go talk to um, uh, Nail again. Nile, Neil, whatever. I, he said his name earlier, and I already forget how he said he pronounces it. Can breathe again. All right. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath, then let it out. Ugh. You're weird. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way, too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. Cool. I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love. And what could be wrong with that? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you. And the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier. But I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? Oh, they don't get that look in their eyes. Mm. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by our work. Okay. Yeah. And that's Neil. He's a bit of an oddball. <laughs> okay. Red Echoes is the next place we're going to go. 
Uh, so, actually, I should probably go over here and try to discover... Can I fast travel here? No, I can't, but I can fast travel to this. Campfire. Excuse me. Oh. Go ahead up to that village. I believe that's Mother's Rise, I think is what it's called. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Because I believe there's a couple side quests there that I could pick up. I believe which that might be handy okay other direction excuse me this away also I leveled up a little bit so now I've got some skills hey bust a move precision critical hit Light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor. Uh, gathering resources from your mount. Uh, press R1 for a high damage attack on downed enemies. Eh, that one's neat, but... Critical hit plus, precision plus, knockdown. Uh, heavy spear attack will knock down machines faster. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Mount pickup. This power right here is ultimately one that's super useful to me. But... I guess we'll pick up that one. Got a stealth weave. That'll be helpful. Got some items. Some junk to sell. Yeah, certain items that I can only sell for profit. Notebook. What other machines did we get? Corrupted machines. They're just weak to fire. Collectibles. Alright. Let us make our way to a mother's rise here. Easiest way would just skyrim these rocks. <laughs> Eyes, white as bone. <laughs> that dark. Ugh, goodness, all sneezy all of a sudden. My nose is all itchy. All right. There we go. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. I thought I was going to die. This is what I thought was about to happen here. Uh, some healing herbs. Alright. Go up here. Well, she's an outcast. No Ugh. longer. Okay, I was about to say, who are you talking to? Nora. All right, who we got? Hi. That brave. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you, but... Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along grave trails to the east, but... I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. You said that you, um, wanted to be strong like me. I take it you know who I am? I do. I know a lot of people didn't want you in the proving. If you hadn't been there, everyone would have died. Shows how much we know. The very person we needed was someone the tribe never wanted. I wish I could borrow some of your courage now. For him. You don't need to borrow what you already have. I hope you're right. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. I'm still learning the basics. 
But all the true healers are busy in Mother's heart. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him. And that, I can do. That's kind of sad. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party. Wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart. So they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper. Tell him to think of his mother's smile. Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and... and the howls of machines like monsters. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. If only I could calm him. Help him forget all that and go to All Mother in peace. Tell me what you need again. Dream Willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. That brings sleep and numbs pain. My supply is gone. But hunters keep it in stashes along brave trails. Out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. Hmm. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Okay. Got another merchant. I'll grab myself a sample box. Always grab those anytime you see a merchant. Because it's always nice to just have some supplies. You're Aloy, aren't you? They say you've been made a seeker with rite of passage from the sacred land. Yes. To track the killers who attacked the Proving. I can't imagine leaving all mother's protection. But my sister Nicola is like you. Fearless. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. He's dangerous. I'm really worried about her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicola. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nicola to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said... She didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. Did the matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred lands, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. Okay. Daughter's vengeance. All oh, mother, hear my prayer. All right. Um. Alrighty then. Well, we're going to have to pick this up in the next episode. So, if you all have enjoyed this video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. All right. Stay awesome and much love.